Well, hello again. We are here at Showcase Comics talking to Dylan. Hi. Showcase. <laughs> Branding's <laughs> <Just in> important. <laughs> just in case we weren't clear where we were. So we're, uh, we're just here to talk a little bit about comics. Normally this would be uh, Samuel doing this, but, this, but today uh, I don't know a lot about comics. I've read a couple, uh, and uh, I'd like to just talk about you know getting into comics and what are some good starts. Yeah, I think we jumped you in on on authority, which is a yeah. That, that's a deep comic to jump into. I, I <laughs> yeah, but I like to read, so I'm like I was excited to try something. Yeah, even if it was comics. Challenging. Comics are like any other book, though, right? Mm -hmm. There's kind of there's there's like seminal works you should read, right? Right? There's right. defining stories for almost every character's got like that that one big story everybody should read. When people right. come in and and they're sort of fresh, it, it sort of depends on what kind of comic they want to read because comics aren't just superheroes anymore, right? No. This, the the days of, of, of comic books being sort of big, muscular white dudes in tights are over. There are comic <laughs> books for anyone and everyone. There's a comic book for every mood. If you're not into superhero comics, there's actually probably more books coming out right now that are less superhero y, mm -hmm. right? I, I mean, books with sci fi books. Like, it still sort of tends into those sort of nerdy genres. But there's, there's a lot of books that are just about everyday life that are actually quite good. But when people come here and they want, like, that first superhero book and they're a Spider-Man fan, the, the book that you got to go to is this one right here. Because it's, it's 2018, and you want to start off with Spider-Man's origin story. <laughs> nice. And this is the one. Look, I had this right there. I just happened to have it right here. So, so when people come in to showcase and I've got to tell them, hey, if you're a Spider-Man fan and you haven't read Ultimate Spider-Man, yeah. which is a Brian Bendis comic, he's the... He's the best dialogue writer in comics. Ooh. This is Spider-Man sort of reimagined for a modern audience from day one. So you get, this is the Spider-Man from all from the movies, right? This is this is the wise cracking Peter Parker plus wise cracking Spider-Man. Right. He's got he's got that wry wit that teens mm. all seem to have, right? There's <laughs> there's that constant foreboding sense of irony that kids all kids all have nowadays, yeah. and and that's. It's a great run. Now, it's also, it's a finite run. It runs 22 volumes like that. Those volumes come to like, I think they're just under 20 bucks a piece, right? Okay. So it's a, it's a nice, it's a nice introduction to Spider-Man. And from there you can find your Spider-Man, right? Because right. comic books, superhero comic books, you're talking about a 60 year old character with Spider-Man. Yeah. That is a long time and a lot of sort of continuity and just, I call it plaque buildup. There's a lot of plaque buildup on these characters, right? There's That's Gwen good. Stacy died, and he got divorced mm. from Mary Jane and then wiped all memory of their marriage from the earth. There's so much stuff that... That's where you start because it's a simple story yet it's well told, right? Same with it's Batman. not worrying about getting into all that stuff you're talking about. You don't have to know anything. All you have to know is Spider-Man's a good guy. I always think that, look, Batman's Batman and yeah. Spider-Man's Spider-Man. And when you start reading those books, that's the thing to remember. Yeah. And when you talk about Batman, this is where Batman starts. Yeah, every yeah. Batman story for the last like 35 Miller. years is Frank Miller's year one. Oh. Like every Batman story just steals from this. This was... Batman was is not a globe trotting hero in this. There's no fancy gadgets. Mm. There's no this isn't, you know, Batmobile Batman. This is ground level, mean, tough Batman. Uh Frank Miller also wrote uh Batman the Dark Knight Returns, mm. which is that's a deep Batman story. Right. This is just, just the simple Batman story. And if you ever if you ever get a chance, it's got beautiful David Mazzuchelli art and it's a very simple mm. art style. That's sort of taken comics by storm now. Like thirty years later, okay. this has taken comics by storm. A little ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah, very much ahead of its time. Telling stories that now fans of that story are now writing comic books, and so mm. you're seeing some of the sensibilities of that, and, and that's good and bad because if you're if you're doing an homage to something, you're doing your version. Yep. Look, you're probably not doing it as well as Frank Miller. You should do your own <laughs> thing. But it, but I, I mean, from a sort of telling a simpler yeah. story. It's excellent, right? And it's the Batman. So it's where every Batman fan should start. There's no other Batman story that defines the character like that one. I'll have to read that one. I go, a friend of mine is a, is a big Batman fan. Every, he reads yeah. almost exclusively Batman and stuff. So yeah. I'm to it's it's unquestionably the place to start. And then, honestly, once you've read once you've read Ultimate Spider-Man and once you've read mm -hmm. that Batman, you can go anywhere. Like you can go anywhere with your superhero comics, right? Because right. because superheroes are Superman, Batman. Spider-Man, you know, nowadays Iron Man. Like, that's it. Those are your superhero guys. Right. You know, and, and Iron Man and Spider-Man, uh, aside from sort of Ultimate Spider-Man, you kind of, for Iron Man especially, he's a difficult character getting, you have to go back a ways, right. right? Now, comic book companies collect all those big stories. Like, uh, Iron Man 2 is the one where he's a drunk, <laughs> right? That's a story from the comic books. Most mm. of the movies you like, I can find you the comic book that matches right. up with it. Just be <laughs> warned that the comics do a better job of telling these stories. 
that makes but, sense. You know, when people come in, so if you like Western comics, right? Mm. Like Western with a touch of sci-fi. There's a comic okay. book Image puts out called East of West. That's your Western fans. It's got a like a charming Clint Eastwood character. You go to deep sci-fi. You've got Seven to Eternity by a guy named Rick Reminder that is just a fantastic mm. story. Like it's. I like sci-fi. If you're jumping into comics, though, the only place to start jumping into comics is not. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash the competition and say don't go to chapters, but come to a comic book yeah. store. Talk to people who read a lot of comic books because they will tell you, hey, you, you want to jump into superheroes? Here's the best superhero right. stories because they've read them, right? So if you have a friend who's read a lot of comics, talk to that friend about what kind of comics mm-hmm. you'd like because w- the first thing I do is what kind of movies do you like? What kind of books do you like to read? That's the basis for finding the comic book that you're going to like. That's the basis for finding a comic, even right. even a monthly comic off the shelf that you want to read. It all starts with what do you like? Like what do you want to read? Because if you don't want to read it, it you're not going to read it. Well, that was one of the, one of the things you, you you gave me authority, and like you said, you know, now you're like, oh, I'm not sure about it, but but on the but uh, but really simply, I don't I don't have a lot of background, so I just took it, you know, I just read it as it was. I read it cover to cover. I loved, uh, I really loved the dialogue and the characters. Yeah. Like I, I found the characters really engaging. Like I said, especially the Jenny Spark, uh, Sparks and uh, uh, ne- what was the night. Ne- Midnighter. Midnighter. Yes. Well, oh, well and yeah. Jenny Sparks at the time. She was fantastic. I really. Well, liked when that her. comic came out, there there were three strong female comic mm. book characters wonder woman was a bit of a mess when jenny sparks came out so so but think about it if, if you're a female comic book reader you want to read about a hero that's that you have something more in common with yes well that was jenny sparks right even though i, I don't think you want anybody actually being quite like no. jenny sparks <laughs> no but, but, but i mean at least it's, yeah you, you, you know. see that you see that you can relate to some of the decisions she has to mm-hmm. make in that mm-hmm. um it, when and you see the struggle out, the struggle of authority like that word authority <laughs> the struggle of she doesn't want it but you you have it kind of yeah thing, right? yeah you, the people you have who are it the best uh, the best uh, at leading they're, they're the people who don't want it usually, yeah right? and and the thing with authority coming in fresh it's always nice mm-hmm. to come into comic books fresh because i come into comic books comic books jaded and <laughs> i see that midnighter is a takeoff on batman yes. i see i see how the, they're carbon copies of each one and and that's honestly why I said yeah. I don't know if Authority was a great start. So so that's another thing is when you come into a comic book store, like you come into Showcase Comics, and you say, hey, a friend of mine gave me Authority and I loved it. I can give you twelve other comics that you should start <laughs> you reading should right now nice. because that's you good. liked Authority, right? That's a good start, right? Like, and that's I mean, it's like when you're drinking wine or something, right? You know, you you take a sip and you go, you know, a lot. I don't know a lot. I still don't know a lot about wine, but I really like it. So I'll drink. They'll they'll say, oh, you like this one? I said, we'll try this one. I'm like, oh, see, this is why. Well, I and, yeah, and yeah. that's the key. It's like when when so the plumbing like goes down one? at my house, yeah. I hire a plumber. <laughs> so when you when you want to buy a comic book, come to the come to a comic book yeah. professional. That's that's my that's my best advice, and it doesn't matter. Any comic book like store, that. okay, well, has that's, got well, that's the take, But that's the takeaway we're coming. Like you know, we call, you called a professional. So if I want a comic book, I'm going to come here. That's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, that's no, that's a good take home message. Yeah, I like that. It's kind of all I do too is, is read <laughs> comic books. I mean, hey, it's it's a heck I'm... of a life. <laughs> Exactly. So we're actually going to keep pretty uh, pretty short today. But like you know, thank you, uh, thank you so much for helping me out there. So Thanks you a lot. gave me a lot of uh, uh, things to think about, and so for my next couple uh, next couple books. So. Excellent. Thanks right. a lot. Thanks.